Now, this whole idea that oil is a finite, limited resource isn't new. Back in the 1950s, a Shell engineer named M. King Hubert predicted that oil production would eventually peak and decline, and he was kind of right. And so the U.S. actually did hit its peak conventional oil production in 1970, and it started declining fast after that. Fast forward to 2008, and oil production in the U.S. had dropped to over half than it was at that peak in 1970. And prices for oil at the time were at a record high of $130 a barrel. And in 2008, was there anything else going on? Oh yeah, the entire world was basically falling apart. What we've seen over the last 24 hours is an earthquake which we've been waiting uh, and expecting for some while. Now we've got the aftershocks to come and we've got the clearing up to do. The banking sector bore the brunt of the collapse with shares in Europe's major banks tanking by as much as 9%. Yeah, so the banking industry was falling apart. The housing industry was falling apart. I mean, there have been countless movies and documentaries on it. For those of you that are old enough to remember, and I know all of you are because I looked at my analytics, things were bad in 2008. And at the same time, oil production was basically drying up. We were running out of oil and quick. And companies were basically running out of places to drill. The easy oil was just gone. 